Okay, we have here another integral on the board. This one's from the MIT integration. Be 2022 quarterfinals number one. We have the integral from one to 2022, the fractional part of x over x dx. Okay, and of course, the first thing we really need to deal with is what do we do with the fractional part there in the numerator? How do we handle that? The first thing to talk about is what is the fractional part? So like, let's look at an example. If our x value, let's say, we're looking at the fractional part of 2.3124, let's say. Well, the fractional part of this is just gonna be the decimal part, removing the integer part, so this would actually be just 0 0.3124. And in general, for this expression, the fractional part of x, we have something for this, where we can actually write this as x minus the floor function of x, and this works when x is greater than zero. Just to see how this works, we can look at it like when x is this value here, 2.3124. So if that was the case, if we have the floor of this thing, well then x is going to be the full value. So the floor function is just going to round us down to the next integer. So for 2.314, oh, I wrote this wrong, Two point. it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, it's going to round us down to 2. And so if we subtract this off, we get the same or sorry, 0 0.3124. But what that's gonna allow us to do is take this value and we'll use that and we'll plug that back into our integral and move on from there. Okay, so now I've just plugged in that value that we found on the previous board for the floor function, so we'll use that instead. And what I can do with that, that's gonna allow me to split this into two integrals. All right, so what I can do, so for the first one, we'll just split up this fraction. So for the first one, it's gonna be x over x dx, but of course, that's gonna to cancel to one. And then for the second one, we're gonna have, still gonna have this floor function to deal with over x dx. Well, this first integral is really simple because we're just integrating one. We integrate that, we get x, and we're evaluating x from one to 2022. So this is gonna give us 2022 minus one or 2021. And from here, what we'll do is we're gonna focus on this integral and we still kind of have a problem. We don't have a fractional part anymore, but we still have to deal with the floor function. What I wanna do is put this into a bunch of different integrals where the, where the boundaries just differ by one. So let's see how this is gonna look. We'll first just focus on looking at this from one to two. And we're gonna have the floor of x over x dx. But the nice thing now when we, when we write it like this, between one and two, the floor function always rounds us down to one. So we actually have a constant value here that we can deal with. This value in the um, numerator is just gonna be always one. And we can do something really similar here. If we just go from two to three, we'll have the floor of x, but between two and three, the floor is gonna round this down. And so this value here is always gonna be two. And I think I'll just do the last value here. So like, so the last value in this is going to be from 2021 to 2022. But the floor function, if we have the floor of x here, but now for this case, the floor of x between 2021 and 2022, this is always going to round down to 2021. And so the nice thing here is we really have the same integral in every case. We're really just integrating like this first one, dx over x, and we're just gonna have a different constant value that we could pull outside. We could pull out the two in front here, we could pull out the 2021 20, here. So when I rewrite this, what I can do is kind of try to generalize these integrals. We'll kind of just, let's just try to capture this like in a general form. So like what's gonna happen, we're gonna have an integral from some value n that's going from one to 2021. 20, the upper bound is going to be just one greater, so we'll write that as n plus one. We'll have our integral is just dx over x, but we have some value here. But this is this is the same as this. This is going to be this n value. So what I can do is write this n out front of the integral, and what we can do is write this as a sum. We're actually we're actually summing two thousand or so integrals, right? And they're going to be starting at n equals one for this first one. And they're going to go all the way to n equals two thousand twenty one. Well, we can just go ahead and integrate this thing, okay, because we know this integral. The integral of this, of course, is gonna be natural log absolute value x, but because our n values are always positive, because our bounds are always positive, I'm gonna drop the absolute value. And so we're just gonna have ln of x evaluated from n to n plus one. And then from here, we can just evaluate this. 
So first we'll plug in here um, n plus one. So we're gonna have natural log n plus one. And then here we're gonna minus, we plug in the n, we're gonna have natural log of n uh, plus c, no. <laughs> Okay, now from here, I'm just gonna focus on this expression and simplifying this using log properties. So we'll do another rewrite. And then because we have, because we're subtracting here, that means we can write this as dividing n plus one divided by n. So let me just do this. So we'll write this as ln of n plus one over n. But then with this n, I can bring this into the exponent. And instead of bringing it in the exponent of the whole thing, I'm gonna bring it into the exponent of each, okay? So let's just write it again real quick. Okay, and now this is a little more compact with just like our one natural log term here. And the interesting thing is we can actually do a little more with the log properties because this is a sum. So we have this summation, we're gonna have 2021 terms. That's a lot to deal with. But really what this is gonna look like, let's just write it, let's not worry about too much about what's inside here. Okay, but it's gonna be something like ln of A plus ln of B plus ln of C. On and on and on. Well, by log properties, we can rewrite this as multiplication. So we can write this as ln of a times b times c times all this other stuff. So I guess if I were to write it out formally, we could take our summation, bring it inside the natural log as a pro, like the big pi product thing, whatever you call that thing. In order to write this in this form, I'm just going to kind of write some terms and let's see how that's going to look. Okay, so we'll have our 2021 in front that we're just bringing along for the ride. Natural log. And then again, we're summing all these terms. So like, let's start with, we'll start at one. So plugging in one here, we're gonna have uh, two to the one over one to the one. And then we're gonna be multiplying the next term. So that's gonna be um, two plus one is three to the two over two to the two. And then when n equals three, we're gonna have three to the three here and then four to the three and we can keep going, but we're not gonna. Let's just write the last two terms. So like when n is 2020, we're gonna have 2020 to the 2020, 2021, 2020. And then the last term is gonna be 2021. And then this is gonna be 2022, 2021, when n is 2021. And so the reason I do it this way and write this whole big thing out is because we're gonna have some nice cancellation now this cancel, like we can go crosswise and cancel a two with a two squared, and one of these is gonna cancel that level one there. We can cancel this with two of these, and we'll have three to the one. We can cancel this, and on and on this goes. And then similarly, there'll be another term here that's gonna cancel with, the, well, sorry, not the whole thing, but it's gonna cancel with this. Then we're gonna have, this is gonna cancel with all of this. And so what's gonna happen is here in the numerator, these are all ones but we do have this term, and then we have all these terms just raised to the one. But then this is gonna simplify way down. So we're still gonna have our 2021 here. We have our natural log. The only thing we have in the numerator is this right here. So we're gonna have 2022 to the 2021. And then the denominator, we just have all these terms just raised to the one power. So we have one times two times three times four, all the way to 2021. What's that? Well, that's just gonna be 2021 factorial. I'll just put a parentheses around that. I'll add a plus C. Just kidding. <laughs> and that's it. We're done. That's it. Thought that was a good problem today. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.